Hey there, Beast Gamers. We're in the nether today to build a piglin trading station. And we need crying obsidian, so we're gonna trade them gold. They have uh, one of their drops is crying obsidian. And we need that crying obsidian to build some respawn anchor anchors. We're gonna do some pretty big mining projects in the overworld. We've got one going on right now that we're gonna share with you in a, in a couple days, hopefully. And we need all the crying obsidian we can get. So we're gonna build a station to trade with piglins. So in this chest, we've got everything we're gonna need, starting with four blocks, um, two redstone repeaters, one sticky piston, a block of gold, or this could be a block of gold ore, um, that will work too, a redstone torch, some redstone dust, and a lever. And then we need uh, that, that first part will build our mechanism to speed up the trading. You'll see what we mean when we get going. And then we need 15 blocks. We need about six chests, three hoppers, a dropper. We need some glass and we need a name tag. And then you'll see, I've also got the stuff for a door because um, I don't want um, anybody else, uh, I don't want any other piglins coming in and messing with us while we're doing this because this will aggravate any piglins in the area. So we've built out this room and this is enough space. This is about, uh, what is that, four blocks high. Um, we've got about eight blocks, seven or eight blocks wide. And you can see we've got a little doorway here that's going to go out, but I blocked myself in for now so I can build everything. And we're just going to dive in. So here we go. I'm going to take these name tags for now too. And we're going to build our little station first. First step, we're going to dig down here. And we're going to build our collection system. And uh, just be careful when you're mining with a high efficiency pickaxe because it will just rip through the floor here. Um, so sometimes you may want to bring something that isn't quite so powerful in order to do this, but um, we're going to put in a double chest to start with. We're going to do a hopper into the back of that chest, so squat. And then I'm going to do another layer below that. We're going to do it right here. Yeah, you can see this pickaxe is just ripping the nether to pieces, um, which isn't always great, but uh, at any rate, here we go. So now I need to put in um, some hoppers going into my other chest. So I'm gonna put in a chest there. I'm gonna put in a chest there. And we're probably gonna cover those to start with, but um, we'll be uncovering them when we start using them. So I'm ducking down here. There's a hopper into that chest. There's a hopper into that chest. And the reason we've got a triple chest system here is because this is just going to have so much stuff by the time we're done. And you'll see what I mean once, we're, once we get going. Um, so I am actually gonna cover these up for now um, because we're gonna need all the space we can get to get that piglin in here. So I'm now gonna build the rest of his cage where this unfortunate piglin is gonna spend the rest of his days and that's okay he'll love it he's going to get so much gold he won't even know what to do with it and then we're going to drop a uh, dropper up here put, put a dropper in that's great i am now going to um i've got six glass so that's great we're going to put that across the front here just like that and when we're ready we're going to use the rest of that to trap him in there now, um, I'm gonna build the aggravation system. This accelerates the trades. This, re this, what it does is essentially reduces the time that he investigates the gold down to zero. Um, we first saw this in a uh, video by Silent Whisper. So if you haven't had a chance to go check out his channel, you should go check out his channel as well. Um, credit where credit is due. So we're gonna put in a sticky piston. We're going to drop that in right there. And then on both sides of that, I'm gonna put in these four blocks. I'm now gonna take out those blocks like that. I'm gonna collect those. This guy goes on the side here. I 
I'm going to drop my repeater on top. Didn't pick up my redstone yet. Get some redstone. Drop the redstone in, and you can see that is now moving around. I'm going to place our switch here and turn that off. And then a block of gold goes there. So whenever a piglin senses that gold is being messed with, they get a little crazy. And so that's exactly what this is designed to do. This is actually uh, to, to make them crazy on purpose. So the next thing that we have to do is we're going to wire up our dropper on the top here. So we're going to bring that down. And that might be all we need to do. There we go. We now have a working dropper at the top there. Uh, we didn't need the other repeater. I, was, I thought maybe we might need it, but uh, we made this space small enough that we didn't. And a splash of redstone on top of the dropper. There we go. That's our system. So we are ready to go. Um, and we're going to put our glass into this um, system or we're going to put glass in our hotbar so that we're ready to go and lock him in. We don't need the redstone anymore. We didn't need the other redstone repeater, so that's fine. Move some things around. Um, I'm going to grab a stack of gold, and we are going to go looking for a piglin. Chances are, being the nether, we're going to find a bunch of guests, and we're going to find some other non-desirable things as well. But... Oh, there we go. There's the first one. We've got, um, oh, this is great. There we go, and I don't have my sword in my hotbar, and I don't want to die. That would be bad, and now I'm a long way from where I want to be. Oh, this is not going to okay, I got that guy. We're just going to take a little break. Oh, boy. Okay, make sure you have the sword. That got out of hand. We'll leave that in, because that's fun. Okay, am I healed up? Let's put the food back in my hot bar. Good lord, just like that, these guys. Okay, we're going to heal up. Oh, looks like my door area got kind of screwed up and everything. There we go. Let's take another look outside, take two. There's another uh, hoglin coming, but this time we got our sword ready, so we got him. Got some good drops. A lot of zombie piglins. I don't see a regular piglin. So I'm going to go look for a regular piglin. See, there's a gas. That's just great. They can blow this stuff up really quickly. Um, I'll be back when I found the guy, and I'm going to start dragging him over. So until then... I'm going to go hunting. Okay, we got a guy. We got a guy interested. We're using up a lot of gold here to try to get him in. He just gave us some crying obsidian, but we're going to ignore that for now because we just want him. At this point, we just want him in here. Come on. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh. Now I just need you over here. Let's see what, come on. Come on, buddy. Oh, he sees it. What about over here? Oh, that went to the hopper. There we go. That's as close as we can probably get. Let's see if we can put a couple down over there. Let's give him some nudging. Come on, bud. In you go. Just nudge him. There we go. And he's in. He is in. There he is. I'm going to now wall up the front like that. And we're going to see if our system works. Here we go. I need to grab some gold for the dropper, which I have completely obscured. Doesn't help anything. So come up to the top. Nope. Can't do that. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I wasn't thinking. There we go. And now we're going to turn on our switch. Out comes all the stuff. I can't open that chest, but you can see it's starting to come out the bottom there. Actually, that's just gold, though. That might just be gold that's flying through. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, there's our stuff. There's our stuff. What we need to do is put a block there. Let's see if we can get that to flow down. There we go. And he is just dumping stuff into the chests. Another bricks. We don't need another bricks yet. He's just dumping stuff out. Let's see what we got left. And we're out. Just like that. We are out. What did we get? Got some stuff still coming in. We can turn our system off now. There we go. Turn that off. Oh. There we go. Let's so fire it up again. Let's see what we got left. Oh, we only have the two gold left. Just like that, we used up a lot of gold. Here we go. Whoops. Grab that. Grab that. We will just toss that in this time instead of using the dropper. But we'll turn this back on. And you can see how fast he does this stuff. Bricks, okay, no bricks. Any gold for me, buddy? We got some books. We got a soul speed book. We got some blackstone coming in. Some fire, fire charges, water bottles. Didn't get as much crying obsidian as we would like. Oh, we got an ender pearl that's come through. That's nice. All that stuff's working. He's pretty mad because this gold system's moving. But um, there we go. So that's your Piglin trading system. We're going to keep at it. Try to get some more crying obsidian out of him. You can see we got a lot of drops. Um, oh, there's 12 more gold bars. We'll give those to him. I'll put those back in the dropper. And we'll run this one last time. Just give him the 12. Arrows, blackstone, where the stuff goes. We'll just collect that this time. Okay, and for the last final step here, we've got to put a name tag on this guy. And so John has joined me from the overworld, and he has a name tag that he renamed using an anvil. So now it's a valid name tag. And take it away, John. Show us how to put this guy put the, a name on this guy hey guys i'm gonna show you how to name a guy so now that you have the name tag in your heart hot bar and you try to put through the anvil to name it you look at the guy get up all close and if, if you're using minecraft on um, bedrock and you have a controller you'll say lz name or zl name anyways you have got want to press lt and the name will appear and his name is dad please go check it out Guys, his name is Mr. Man, Man Person, Person thingy. thingy. There he is. Hi, Mr. Man Person Thingy. So that thingy. means he is going to stay here now. He's our personal piglin trading guy. Let me reload the dropper. I've got another 21 gold bars. So we're going to reload the dropper. And we're going to set it off again. And we're going to use up that last 21. You can see him tossing items left and right. I see some more, more crying Guys, obsidian. A lot of stuff. He sure does. And there we go, that was 12 bars. Let's take a look in our chests looking. at our final haul. How do you make it keep going? Oh, let's turn it off, there we go. Wait, how'd you turn it off? There's a lever on this left side there. Yeah, I know, I pressed it, but then it's like, oh, cool, anyways, guys, um, I do not know how this goes. <laughs> so, so, let's, let's take a final us. look. This chest has got one crying obsidian in it, which we really wanted. We've got some ender pearls. We've got some great potions. Dad, there's another few stuff that he gave us. He gave us this and this and this and this and this and this and this. That looks nice. That's great. And then there's 11 crying obsidian in here. Two gold ingots came all the way through, so we'll put those back in in a second. But there we go. That's your own personal piglin trading farm. Thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. We hope you enjoyed our video, and bye!